Hey guys, I know I haven't made a vlog in a really long time, but that's because I've been really busy. And since I just recently hit 100 subscribers, I promised myself that I'd do more of a confessional vlog as opposed to the funny or not so funny vlogs that I've been doing. And that means less jump cuts except for the one I just did because like, I mean, it's just awkward if I just showed that pause that just happened between those two lines. Usually I'd spend an hour making a script Hope making it funny, making it at least like amusing. Then I spent another hour on actually shooting it and getting those shots from like different places outside, inside, whatever. And then I spent another hour editing and doing all that jump cutting stuff that you see happening right now. But since I just reached 100 subscribers, I am actually so happy. That's a that's the big one zero zero. You know, you don't triple digits. That happens only once. Yeah, math. So what I mean by confessional vlogs? Well, I mean more of just just straight raw footage. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to talk because I want to talk about what I made this channel for. I made this channel so that I could talk about my arm, talk about what life is with it and have you guys ask me questions. I want I want to let people know what this life is like. I make that sound way more intense than it really should be because honestly it's not that different. You can see here that I am a normal person. What is normal? See it's things like that where I want to cut but I said it's a confessional, so I gotta just go with the flow of the words. Sometimes I'll jump cut just for the sake of, I know, time and me being fluent with my words. And the reason I'm waiting for 100 subscribers is so that I actually have an audience to talk to about these real things that matter to me. Not that those previous things didn't matter to me, it's just that that was more of me just experimenting with what I could do. And I probably will still continue making vlogs like that, it's just that I like to make more confessional vlogs because this channel was meant to be about my arm and how I live with it. You know, that feels so weird saying, but that should give you an idea of how I feel about my arm. So as you can see, I have a right hand fully, fully there, all there, and I have this. I have an arm that comes from here, shoulder, all the way to the elbow and up, at just this much right here. And people always ask if these are fingers. No, they're not. They're, I guess we're going to be fingers, but they're just little dots. They have no, they're just like skin and bulginess. I, there's nothing inside them. I can't. Could barely feel inside them actually. And how did I end up like this? Well, it's this really gross sounding thing called ABS, which is a neo amniotic band syndrome. And so yeah, I could say I'm suffering from a syndrome, I guess. I always hate answering the question when people ask me what happened to your arm because it's really not that exciting. It's just some syndrome I was born with, which actually I didn't even know about until this past summer. I honestly did not know what happened. All I knew was that I was born like this. That was the sentence that I used whenever anyone asked me from young kids from like two years old all the way up to like 20 year olds asking me what happened to my arm. Well, you could just Google amniotic band syndrome, but I'll save you the trouble and just tell you that it's when in the placenta when an amniotic band, which is those things that like little branch tree things reach into like where the baby is and those things got wrapped around my limb and kind of tight, too tight. So it stopped it from developing fully. Um, it could have been worse. There's a lot of worse cases for that. There's ones that go all the way up to here. There's ones around the legs. It happens to the legs. It happens to sometimes the neck even, and it can be very fatal. But luckily, I just ended up with half an arm. And honestly, it's not that bad. Well, when you have good looks like this. Okay, that's a jump cut, and I'm sorry, but that was funny. So I'm going to be doing regular videos where I'm just talking about it. But right now, I just want to give a general overview of like life with one hand. And I want to keep it relatively short, so I'm not going to be talking about in depth about certain things. And what does that even mean? Overview? Well, I'm just going to be talking about the usual questions that I get from people. So growing up in pre-K and kindergarten, I went to this school called New North Montessori back in Chicago. And well, honestly, I don't remember being much different from any other kid. I think it was because I was growing up with them, but none of them ever, well, I don't really remember, I guess, but none of them really asked what happened to my arm. No kids ever made fun of me or made it a point to like show off that I have one hand. So I guess you could say I'm kind of lucky and I'm actually very grateful that it never happened to me. The only time I started noticing was when I was probably, I don't know, first or second grade when younger kids lower than me started asking me what happened to my hand. And whenever anyone asks me, I'm always just taken aback. I step back for like maybe two seconds and just look down like, oh, that's right. And I just follow up with, well, I was born like this. And after years of that happening where little kids would ask me what happened to my arm, I would actually make up stories. I'll get into these stories another day if you're really curious. And then the question after that is usually, why don't I have a prosthetic? And uh, I, all I remember is when I was little, I used to hate them. I used to like throw tantrums and cry because I just didn't want to wear it. I really don't like them. Which, hold on, jump cut. That leads me into a perfect segue for this guy, this prosthetic, which I got just for the pure sake of working out because this shoulder area has been so weak and very like disproportionate to this side that I really wanted to build it up. And that leads me to explain why I want signatures on my arm. Well, growing up and even in high school and even now, I always forgot that I had one hand. I never ever went every day waking up like, oh, waking up, oh, want to have one hand, okay, 
Gotta deal with life. And to be honest, it could be like that. I could be thinking about it every single minute, every single day, and that would be terrible. It'd be awful. Every time I think about it, I just think about how different I am from everyone. And at first I'm excited, like, oh yeah, I'm unique. And then I think, wow, it would be really nice to have two hands for certain things. The reason I want signatures on my arm is because I feel like I have two hands all the time. Whenever someone asks me why I have one hand or what happened to my hand, I take a step back and forget, or remember actually, that I have one hand. So the reason I want signatures which I keep saying that and I haven't yet gone to the explanation, but I am about to right now, is so that when I look at my arm, my prosthetic arm, I see signatures because those signatures are people that help me, help me think that I have two full hands. Just It's literally a manifestation of that second hand. I want people to n n realize that them not making fun of me or pointing it out all the time or, I don't know, just being jerks about it, actually really does help me as like a social human being that's why i want signatures on my arm so that people can I, or so i can see not even people but i can see that people help me become who i am today and yes it sounds really sappy but it's what i want and i think it would be really awesome if i could fill it up to the brim with just signatures of friends and people not even not even people i know just people that support me in what i'm doing so my main goal for these confessional vlogs is to have like a question a main question in the in the title of the video and then dive into that question to the fullest that I can go and uh, that actually leads me into another topic jump cut I'm trying to make a box full of questions so that people actually on my floor can give me questions anonymously about what they have on my arm and then I can answer them in videos because I'm sure what their questions go to will branch into what other people have to ask so yeah this is my intro to the vlog confessionals confessional vlogs vlog confessionals I'm not funny. And I hope this is interesting because I really want to talk about my arm more and give more insight into how I do what I do. Hey, thank you for watching. This is the end of the video. And if you have any suggestions for games you want to see me play on my other playlist for how to on one-handed gaming, just comment a game and I'll get it and play it.